well, of course they wrote it. Uh, we're talking about five years in prison, quarter million dollar fines, 2.5 to 5% of your paycheck, depending on your, 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 uh, your, your tax bracket put into a fund. Uh, all of this is going on and, and, it, it gives liability protection to the insurance companies and the doctors. It does federalize and, uh, and let bureaucrats start setting the treatments for people. It cuts back on tests that are essential. This is eugenics. And now the actual socialists have discovered this. So Howard Dean is freaking out. Dennis Kucinich is freaking out. And uh, the bill was already in trouble. Break down what's really in the bill, uh, why we are seeing some actual honesty from the Democratic Party some sectors of it, and what you think is going to happen with this bill, Wayne Madsen? Well, what we saw come out of the bill was uh, a proposal to extend uh, Medicare benefits to people 55 and older. Uh, older. Uh, we also, that was taken out. That was, uh, Joe Lieberman went after that one. Uh, we also saw uh, another proposal to have a public option, basically emaciated. That's why that's why the uh, Obama administration and their congressional supporters have lost the support of people like Howard Dean, uh, Russ Feingold, uh, all, all, all people, I might add, who may be potential challengers to Mr. Obama in the 2012 uh, primary. We're hearing a lot more about him maybe even having more potential challengers than Lyndon Johnson had in 68, unpopular, unpopularity over the war, the self care fiasco. Uh, uh, Johnson, of course, had Eugene McCarthy and Bobby Kennedy and decided he wasn't going to run again. Um, but uh, that Obama may face actually more challengers than, than Mr. Johnson did uh, in his in his uh, final term. Uh, but what we're seeing is now we're hearing calls. That, you know, people will, may refuse on mass to pay the fine nationwide. These these are not coming from tea baggers. These are coming from people who are on the progressive side of the Democratic Party. So it's a, it's a very interesting dynamic we're seeing here. The, the loud protests and uh, you know talking about you know we'll just you know, massively refuse to pay the fine, um, it's coming from the left. And I'm not sure that's what Mr. Obama bargained for. I'll tell you one guy in Washington that's not very popular is Rahm Emanuel, the chief of staff. Uh, I mean, there, there are calls for his head uh, from, from some of the people on the progressive side of the Democratic Party in Congress. And I'd be surprised to see uh, Mr. Emanuel uh, last uh, much past the new year. That's right. Politico and The Hill, both uh, D.C.-based uh, publications for folks that aren't aware uh, of the fact that they're n uh, not just uh, uh, web publications but based out of D.C., they're both saying that Emmanuel just calls up and screams at senior congressmen uh, in a Hitlerian fashion. That is going to blow up in their face. And I've seen this with hype machines. The bigger they build something up, if it doesn't deliver, it implodes even faster. And Obama, for the last six months, has had the lowest approval rating of any president this far into uh, his first year. And now he's even breaking his own records. I mean, I mean, it, it, it is a dive straight downward because people are finding out this is a warmongering, police state loving, secret arresting, rendition promoting, lobbyist hiring neocon masquerading as a communist. You know, when I hear people call him a communist, no, he's a corporate looter. Right, right. And, and I hear a lot of people now talking about this being the third term of George W. Bush. I mean, and these are serious people. They're, I mean, they're joking, but they're really kind of serious in making those allegations. But, but the other thing that's interesting is we have a federal judge now who's been assigned to Rod Blagojevich uh, criminal case in Illinois now stating that he would not be opposed to the defense. Blagojevich is defense lawyers calling as witnesses Mr. Emanuel, and he, get ready for this, Mr. Obama. And uh, on that whole thing with the selling of the Obama Senate seat, if that happens, if the president, president will try to invoke executive privilege, and so will probably Emanuel. I don't know how he'll do it, though, because it, all this happened before they were sworn in, or became, you know, in case of Obama sworn in, Emanuel being appointed uh, chief of staff. But we could have a real constitutional crisis. On top of everything else, and that, that just does not bode well for this administration if that should occur. Well, if that starts happening, look for Blagojevich's aircraft to blow up or for him to have a sudden aneurysm or a 72-hour uh, brain tumor. Absolutely. Well, well, we'll have to see how that one goes, but we all remember the, 
the hype uh, when Bill Clinton, of course, uh, had to testify in the in the in the Paul Jones case uh, uh, with uh, the independent prosecutor Kenneth Starr, and then, you know we we had talk of a constitutional crisis there, uh, but that certainly did not do much for Clinton's poll numbers. When you have the sitting president testifying uh, in a case like that, uh, we may see the same thing happen to Mr. Obama, and of course Emmanuel and David Axelrod. Uh, Valerie Jarrett and other key members of this administration. So do you think uh, the health care is going to pass? I think it'll pass. Um, I mean, it's not going to be – what we see come out isn't going to be very much. I mean, I think uh, uh, people uh, who were hoping to see something for people who are uninsured are going to be sadly disappointed. You know, the f- fact is, isn't it funny that the guy that, 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 the guy that this all hinges on is, 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 is Joe Lieberman, the guy who's – supported McCain in the last election, uh, was Al Gore's running mate, of course, in 2000, who was put in the Senate from Connecticut because William Buckley hated the sitting Republican, Law Waker, so much, who was he's considered too liberal. He said, I, I'd rather have a conservative Democrat in that seat than, than Law Waker, and hence we got Lieberman. Lieberman is basically a Republican parading around as a Democrat. Finally, maybe some people are waking up and, and, and seeing him for what he really is. Well, Wayne, my issue is anything they do, even if you're for socialist health care, then it better be socialist. This is not socialist. This is just another robbery. And so that's why I'm always against big government, because it always turns into a swindle. we got a minute and a half left. Russia is announcing they may preemptively use nukes if anyone gets in their business. Well, I think, uh, obviously, you're look, looking at NATO now coming right up to their borders, uh, uh, we have uh, the NATO Secretary General uh, uh, Rasmussen, who was the former Danish Prime Minister. He's a neocon. I mean, so he's going to he's going to basically do everything on the neocon uh, playlist. And uh, they're looking at all this and they're saying, well, if you're going to play hardball with us, we can play hardball back. And uh, I think we're going to see a lot more uh, elements that are going to look like the Cold War, but uh, I don't think we'll ever go back to those days. But There'll be a lot of grandstanding, certainly. Uh, and, you know, the U.S. and Russia still have, have not uh, agreed on uh, the nuclear uh, uh, reduction, re- nuclear weapons reduction. And the Why is the West to... menacing Russia? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Obama doesn't want to do much on that. And there's a lot of complaints even out of the State Department that uh, Obama is dragging his feet on, on this. But topic. why is the West menacing Russia? Well, obviously, uh, they aren't going along with the program. Uh, you know, the issue of uh, the breakaway regions of Georgia uh, being recognized, that's, that's just one of many issues. Uh, uh, and uh, Russia now uh, supporting the progressive governments in Latin America. That's right in what the uh, U.S. considers its backyard, and obviously the neocons were still very much present in the Obama Okay. Wayne, we're out of time. WayneMansonReport.com. We'll talk to you coming up January 30th. Have a great Christmas.